Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best badges to add to this Pink Diamond Wang ZZ to make him one of the best centers in NBA 2K22 My Team, as well as be showing you guys some of the shoe boosts that I would add to him to make his stats even better. But before we get into that, if you guys are new here, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post three to four My Team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best My Team content on the platform. Without further ado, let's get on the video so guys looking at wang zz stats and badges here first thing we're gonna look at is gonna be his badges and notice he has some pretty good finishing badges so i don't think we're gonna really upgrade any finishing badges he does need a couple shooting badges maybe one or two shooting badges playmaking needs a couple but defensively needs a couple as well so he kind of spread out where he needs his badges i think first off we're gonna start on defense and he could use pickpocket but i think the first one we're gonna talk about is gonna be chase on ours and clamps just makes him a better defender overall clamps just nice to have on your center i know he's not gonna be guarding ball or anything like that but maybe if he switches on to the power forward like a Giannis or lebron you don't want him taking him off the dribble right so i think it's nice to have clamps even on any card on your team i think clamps is a must-have badge and the chase on ours same thing right he's on the athlete athletic small forward power forward like lebron or Giannis, who's going to get a lot of chase down blocks but still nice to have just to make him a better defender defender overall so those two definitely for sure i would add to him menace he doesn't need that pick dodger doesn't need that pickpocket we'll come back to we might give him pickpocket we may not so we'll come back to that one but for sure for the defense clamps and chase down artists by the way if you guys don't know pink diamonds do get five added badges so so far we've used two of those now shooting he definitely needs that eye that eye is one of the best shooting badges in the game helps with contested shots and the contested shots are nice to be able to green and shoot better in the contested shot so obviously that i a must add badge that's number three for sure added we look at shooting doesn't need really clutch shooter doesn't need circus three doesn't need chef doesn't need lucky number seven doesn't need fade and doesn't need difficult shots so honestly i'm going to call it there for shooting badges we only need to add one shooting badge which is going to be dead eye so that is three out of five so we got two more badges to add to him looking at finishing i mean he could use posterizer just because i mean hey he might go for a driving in a couple times and get some dunks so that's the fourth badge we're going to say is going to be driving dunk. it's just uh, sorry it's gonna be posterizer it's nice to have posterizer it's kind of like clamps i mean sure your center isn't gonna really be dunking the ball that much like posterizing people but it's still a nice badge to have on every, every single card and the last badge we're gonna go, last badge we're gonna go with is gonna be pick pocket one of the best defensive badges in the game it just will help him get steals on other centers and if you're ever pinching a screen because if you guys if you guys pinch screens or blitz screens stuff like that if you're trying to pinch a screen right with wang zz you're gonna need pickpocket so if, especially if you play pinch defense or you should like to blitz screens with your centers it's gonna be really nice to have a pickpocket with your center in wang zz so for me i'm gonna go pickpocket clamps chase down artists dead eye and posterizer so for my five badges to add to wang zz i really think these will make him much much better he already comes with some pretty good uh pretty good shooting badges pretty good finishing and pretty good defensive but i think those five badges will definitely help him excel i mean some other ones you guys can look at is dimer Dimer's always nice to have. Unpluckable is nice to have. Bailout's nice to have. So for me, you could look at Bailout. You could look at Dimer. You could look at Unpluckable. And honestly, I might change my mind. I would say maybe Bailout over Posterizer. Honestly, I think Bailout probably is better than Posterizer, especially on your center. If you go to take a shot, a bad shot with him, for example, you can bail out of the pass. So yeah, I'm going to change my opinion. I'm going to go Bailout instead of Posterizer for my five. So Bailout, Deadeye, and then those three defensive badges and Pickpocket, Clamps, and Chase Down Artist. Now looking at stats, uh, st his stats to add for shoe boost, Honestly, he does need a lot of Shibu stuff to be added. So first things we're going to look at is going to be speed and acceleration only at 78, 78. I think those need to be upgraded. Obviously, we're going to do speed and we're going to do acceleration. So now he's going to have 82 speed, 82 acceleration, which is not terrible. And then honestly, I think the only other one, we need, only other thing we need to work on is defense, right? He's good three-point shooter, 93-3, 90 mid-range, has 90 standing dunk, 85 driving dunk. I think that's solid, but I think he could be a better interior defender and I think he could have a higher block. So we're going to upgrade his interior defense, make that a 91 and then we're gonna upgrade his block and make that from an 84 to an 88 i think he definitely could use that we got guys like jaron jackson jr who have a 98 block we have guys like Embiid who have like 94 perimeter and 95 block so him being only an 84 block and an 87 interior definitely could be higher so the first four i would do is speed acceleration just to make him faster right obviously that's kind of a given but then interior defensive block definitely could be higher just to kind of compete with guys like Embiid, jaron jackson jr even like Yao got really high blocking obviously seven foot six and the last one there's a couple ways you go for the last one you could go driving dunk kind of like the posterizer thing just to help him driving dunk right if he's ever driving to the rim just will help him drive into the rim being 84 but i think for me i'm gonna go steal a 70 steal is nice 
but I think him being a 74 steal is definitely higher. It's definitely better. It's higher, of course, but it's definitely better because I think steal on a center is really underrated. Because again, like I said, if you're pin if you're pinching screens, if you're blitzing screens, pickpocket's nice, but so is steal. And then if you guys if you guys ever try to intercept a pass, right? Obviously having interceptors helpful, but I feel like steal is very helpful for intercepting passes as well. So the five shooting boost I would add to him is going to be the five shoot boost I would add to him is going to be speed, acceleration, interior defense, block, and steal. Those are the five that I would add to make him some one of the best centers in NBA 2K22. My team, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below what shoe boosts and what badges are you gonna add to this Wang, and are you guys running this Wang ZZ on your card? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do think he's a very good center. I think these badges will definitely help him out in making him one of the best centers in the game. I hope you guys did learn something from this video, and I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.